Got the John Deere 7510 on the wash pad. Got our panels pulled, cleaning inside. Got this front axle here sewed. This is the heavy duty version, John Deere brand that replaces the ZF. You've also seen us use this to replace the Dana axles. It's all the same. So here, pull our screens up, pull our front grill off. We've already got our side panels off. There's about four bolts that hold this bottom radiator pan down. Once you get that loose, we just get us a little wedge, wedge that up. And we usually put a two by four underneath that support which sets on top of your frame so the two by four just needs to go across the width they don't have to be it doesn't need to be much longer it just stays out of the way and that two by four allows there's an inside boat so it allows you to pull your boats or allows us to pull the boats slide it out which allows you to do the same and then you put your tires and wheels on the axle and you roll it back underneath it. So the bolt pattern on the front supports are the same, but this is the solid pin axle, which has a grease fitting on the back side and the front side. And that's why we have to replace that. So again, this is better for many reasons got bigger tie rods greasable kingpins parts if you have a ZF the parts are available where the parts aren't available uh, for the ZF axles this one here we've got to do a little work to it we probably did this ourselves moving it but that pin greases all the way through that front support So basically this will not go bad unless you just never ever grease it. The grease fittings are easy to get to. King pins are greasable top and bottom. You don't have to change your wheels because they are same boat pattern. And we do include the drive shaft with it. That has to be changed.